All right, now to severe storms affecting millions of Americans on this Memorial Day. At least 18 people across multiple states were killed over the weekend with dozens of tornadoes reported. And now those of us here on the East Coast are seeing the brunt of the storm. ABC's Rena Roy has the latest. Widespread damage in the South after deadly tornadoes ripped through multiple states. In Arkansas, at least eight people killed. You know, just wind and rain just pelting our, our house and then... Uh, I knew I'd have a, at least a couple of trees down, but I didn't realize that all my trees would be down. In the city of Rogers, east of Bentonville, power lines torn down, businesses and homes destroyed. Tried to make it to the hallway. That's the most central part of our house, and that's when we realized we didn't have a roof. In Marion County, similar scenes. We felt it hit the house and just felt it started sucking air up through the through the walls. In Johnson County, Illinois, you can see trees downed and neighborhoods damaged. The National Weather Service now surveying the area. In Kentucky, a state of emergency declared in multiple counties, tens of thousands without power after several tornadoes tore through. So far, we believe at least a few tornadoes touched down, including the one that we know was on the ground at least 40 miles. Texas also hit hard, an EF2 tornado striking Valley View about an hour north of Dallas. Winds gusting up to 135 miles per hour. ABC's Samara Theodore visiting this roadside gas station that was destroyed. It was here at this gas station where 60 to 80 people ran for their lives seeking shelter with one survivor describing this like a scene out of a movie. And now at least 70 million Americans up and down the East Coast are under threat for severe weather, including flooding, high winds, large hail, and even some potential tornadoes. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.